So in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to have two objects collide and then trigger an event when the collision happens. Um, so I have, um, first thing is I've created two scenes. Oh, the thing that's going to happen when they collide is we're actually going to just open a new scene. So that's the event. Um, so I've got to have two scenes. So I have this one, which I've called trigger. And then I have another scene called Big Star that just has a picture of a big star. Okay, um, but most of the magic cap is happening in this um, trigger scene. Um, so I'm going to go through and kind of show you what's happening here. So on this star, I have um, a rigid body 2D where the gravity scale is set to zero because I don't want it to fall. I actually, um, I'm going to move it manually. And then I have... Um, so it has a rigid body 2D and a box collider. Okay. Now this um, robot is also going to have a box collider. Only one of these objects has to have a rigid body 2D, but they both need box colliders. Um, the other thing that I've done um, here is this box collider that we have set is trigger. We've set that to true, or we've checked it, and that's important because that means when um, they hit each other, this is going to trigger an event. Okay, so make sure on this one you have is trigger. Okay, now um, let's go back to the star. Um, an important thing I'm going to have I'm going to give the star a tag. It's going to be called star, and I added this tag. So if you click add tag, you can add a tag, and then you would choose star, and that's going to be important in a minute. Okay. Um, the other thing I have to do to set things up is I need to make sure the scene that I want to load after, when these two guys bump into each other is in my build settings. So I'm going to go to File, Build Settings, and then I want Big Star to load after the, when these two guys collide. So basically what I did is I dragged Big Star into here. Okay. Finally, there's two scripts we have. Um, first, I want to have a script that is going to run or uh, when this box collider is triggered. So this is a JavaScript called trigger event. And in here, um, basically, we're going to say, um, so the name of the function is on trigger enter 2D. And we're saying if the thing that collides with this collider is called star. So remember that star tag, that's why it's important. So basically, only if something with the star tag runs into this collider, we are going to load the next scene. Okay, this level, we're going to set this level to be the name of our uh, next scene. And I'll show you that in a second, okay? So basically, that's what's happening there. So we put that script onto our um, robot. So it's here. Now, level, we need to set what scene we want to load next. So I've set it to big star. because that's the, So this would be the name of whatever scene you want to load. Okay, when these two things collide. Finally, I have a movement script on this star. That's written in C sharp. And basically, we're saying if the user enters a D, we're going to move the star to the right a little bit. And if the user enters an A, we're going to move the star to the left a little bit its position. So that's what that's doing. Okay, so now we have everything set up. So I'm going to run. And I'm going to move this star over to the right. And then we should see when they collide, our next scene loads.